Hello, everybody. This is Stringy. We're back for round, well, the finale round of Group F. No, yeah, Group F. Group F. <laughs> oh, again, my group's muddled up because I'm posted. I'm still in the mid process of posting round four videos, but I'm on round five. But yes, enough about that. Round five in Group F sees a clash at the top between Diddy Darius and Ratchet. Then we see Arctic Warriors going up against Dino Hug. And finally, Dino Nerd going up against Jonas Chu. So yes, three equally vital matches here. But up first, it is Diddy Darius against Ratchet. Ooh, all these stipulations and hi it's so hype, isn't it? Right, in the red corner for Diddy Darius, it is Gigant Spinosaurus. Diddy Darius, again, one of my dark horses in this tournament. Suffered their first defeat of the tournament last time out against Dino Nerd. Didn't really happen for Diddy Darius in that matchup, but again, as I said earlier, the job was pretty much done for them anyway, in terms of qualification from the group. However, in the blue corner for Ratchet, we have a T-Rex. Ratchet bouncing back after two straight defeats, with a, with a crucial win against Dino Hug, which has pretty much all but knocked them out to the tournament. Brexit. Well, as I said, this group is so tight, like every match is important. A win, a win will also secure a top spot for Diddy Darius as well, I believe. Ooh, a crit from the Gigant Spinosaurus. You never see this in Jurassic World Evolution 2, because this thing is bloody tiny. Like, it's about the size of the T-Rex's head. That's how tiny it is. Oh, bless it. Oh, that's a tie. This T-Rex does have death fire, but will we see it? Ooh, I don't think we're going to see it now. Well, definitely not. No, I, no, I think... I think Diddy Darius has avoided the possibility of getting hit by a death fire. But he just can't get the, enough hits to finish the T-Rex off. As I said, in this situation, ties do favour the Diddy Darius. And there's the KO blow to give Diddy Darius the 1-0 lead. Defence boost could help as well. Okay, and once again, Ratchet is playing catch at the T-Rex, kind of sucking them. I'll tell you one thing. Ever since I said that the T-Rexes were basically sweeping teams, whoever was using them, they've been sucking. do 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 Alright, up next for Ratchet, we got an Alpha Allosaurus. Will this Alpha Allosaurus be seeing so much bullshit? Or will it not be seeing that much? I lost my train of words. Oh, that's another tie. Allosaurus had never seen many ties before. <laughs> uh, oh, it's a ninja attack. With the defense boost, I'm not sure that he's going to be lethal for the Gigant Spinosaurus, but we'll have to see. Because the Alpha Allo... Yeah, I didn't think it would. Defense boost making a difference there, enabling the Gigant Spinosaurus to survive. Okay, well, it's not surviving that. Ratchet pulling it back. Well, all the shackles are basically off Diddy Darius at this point, you know. All they need is, at the very least, a losing bonus point to make to 100% guarantee their plus in the last 32. But at this point, well, the worst they can finish is fourth, and on 10 points, you're going to get through. Put it that way. Right. Well, there's our one-shot wonder from Diddy Darius, the Amargosaurus. Well, we see how much this thing can do. And it's kind of been MVP for Team Darius. Now that there. That crit definitely can rip Allosaurus a new one. Unlike Jurassic World Evolution 2, where the Amargosaurus is basically prey, this Amargosaurus actually fights. ACT rocket there. When will it land? We'll never know. Well, not now it won't. Ooh, Amargosaurus getting a cheeky little hit there. Attack boost coming in as well. Buffing up the Amargosaurus' attack power. Boom! Boom! I should really research more into Amargosaurus, because I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like the Amargosaurus in Evolution 2 is a little bit too small, in my opinion. Of course, you know, 
I'd never pra never really had much praise for Jurassic World Evolution and its scaling in terms of being actual actually accurate. But you know, it just you know, it's a game. I'm not going to criticise the game for having inaccurate dinosaurs because, well, Dinosaur King's the epit the, 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 the whatever the word is the um, manifestation of inaccuracies. <laughs> just look at the Mega Raptor. That thing's as inaccurate as it comes. So it's actually more like a hybrid now. Ooh, Futaba Cannon there. Kind of a waste, to be honest, because Yalo had, like, no health, but at least we get to see it. All right, as for Ratchet's third dino, it is Spinosaurus, who was MVP last time out against Dino Hug, enabling Ratchet to secure a crucial win, which has got him into the position that he's in at the minute, and which is second place. Wow, look at it. <laughs> Although I will say, in the anime, when they fought the Amargosaurus, it was pretty tiny. Especially when it was like right next to Spiny as well. Like, Spiny towered over it. And well, it's kind of like pretty, it's kind of like similar size to Chomp. Although I think Chomp might have been a little bit bigger. Because, you know, he is quite big. Wow, look, oh my god, look at that crit. Actually, that's a losing bonus point secured, which means that is Diddy Darius safely through to the last 32. Well, if he didn't get the losing point before, he got it now. So well done to Diddy Darius for securing this safe passage to the last 32. Ooh, can he secure a bonus point when finishing the group stage in style? The answer to that is yes. Wow, this Amargosaurus is just a sweeper, is Absolutely insane. Diddy Darius getting the job done with a bonus point win. A bonus point win will also guarantee that he tops Group F, which is important because I believe that will mean he will face one of the best fourth place teams. So on paper, it'll be an easier matchup. Of course, with random number generator, you never know. But, you know, try to make it, try to give a little bit of motivation for finishing top of your group. So well played to Diddy Darius. As for Ratchet, well, they're just going to have to hope other results go their way. And they'll have to wait until this video ends to see if they've safely secured their passage to the last 32. Right, let's have a look at the table as it stands and move on to our second match. Well, now things get interesting. Well, yeah, Diddy Darius is safely through now. 14 points. At least 6 points clear of these two, so... Yeah. <laughs> Diddy Darius, congratulations for winning Group F. And out of all of this, this lot, he definitely deserves it. He really does deserve it and he's been the most consistent and the most convincing combatant in this group everyone else has sort of stuttered but we have seen some great performances from these guys but it's lack of consistency i would say whereas diddy darius has been a lot more consistent it was just the uh, one off against dino nerd which you know basically well from what i've seen so far clearly was a one-off but yes diddy darius you can relax now you are safely through to the last 32 Right, now, the second match for this video, we'll see Arctic Warriors against Dino Hug. Right then, in the red corner for Arctic Warriors is Kentrosaurus and Alpha Kentrosaurus. Arctic Warriors still has a slim chance of getting out of this group. They just need to make sure they get, a, well, a bonus point win, pretty much. That's, that's, that'll do it for them. Well, it won't be official official, but it will pretty much do it. <laughs> However, in the blue corner for Dino Hug, we have the Sancturus. I tell you one thing, you know, if it weren't for the points deduction, Dino Hug would probably be getting out of this group. But it just had to be a naughty toddler. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I'd say Dino Hug would have got out of this group if it weren't for the points deduction, but here we go. The door. Ooh, Kentro getting the first hit. Good start there. Arctic Warriors needs to get a win here. Defeat will pretty much eliminate them. Ooh, ooh. The Sanctuary is striking back there. Ooh, what have we got here? It's an Earth Barrier. Earth Barrier coming in there. This Sanctuary has definitely been very effective for, for um, Dino Hug in this tournament. Ooh, we got an alpha dart. What's that dart going to land on? We're going to find out now. Ready. 
Ah, oh, it's a teddy bear. Spunk. <laughs> ah, little damage done. You escaped there from Arctic Warriors. The statue would have done some major damage. Banana surprise coming in here. Will it move to Santa Rosa's move? Oh, it does. Oh, no, it doesn't. That was Earth Barrier. Never mind. Uh, speaking of Earth Barriers, Kendrasaur is getting off Earth Barrier now. Oop, that's a tie. There's the Sand Trap. We've seen Sand Trap used many times by the, by the DeSantra Rose throughout this tournament. Christmas time, isn't it? <laughs> Wait. Okay, that was weird. I was only getting one FPS set for a second. Yeah, yeah sorry about that. The, you know, the bathroom break, let's just say that. Well, look at that. The Santa Rosa's gone. Right, deal then. For Diddy Dar- No, for Dino Hug Second Eye, no, it is Super Opista Cordia. Ah, uh, remember the old days where I struggled to pronounce this thing? Not anymore. And I have all you lovely guys to thank. Let's have a look. I wait the mode on two. And I think Dino Hug's gonna need it if he wants to finish his tournament in style. Oh, actually, yes. Now that the freaking the Santa Rosa is dead, that also eliminates Dino Hug. That will be certain now because even if he wins this match, he won't get enough points. Wow, look at that! Sand trap having an effect on this Kentrosaurus there. Yes, I, I am also going to update like the um, tutorial things for over Christmas. Okay, that's one. You know, the ones where I explain what all the uh, move cards do. I'm going to update that as well. And I'm going to do like a special video showcasing all of the dinosaurs. And their intros and them getting off a move card of some sort. Like, do you recall those videos that that's like combat with dot 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 dinosaurs? I'm going to do that. But it's going to be with every dinosaur. So it'll be all the... Well, supers and armors will have their own video. As will alphas. But yeah, all combat with like the normal dinosaurs. <laughs> and the anime ones will have a separate video as well. Because they're special. Well, look at this. It's a wait going time for a Pista Sea Recordia next. Ooh, what we got here? It's an Aqua Javelin. A Pista Sea Recordia does have the type advantage over this Fagamax, and it does seem. It's a really solid dinosaur. Given how quote unquote weak it is, it's a really solid dinosaur. Ooh, ocean panic! Yeah, there's the ocean panic. Could it be panic time for Arctic Warriors? The Sorrow Faganax not in a great shape, remember? Arctic Warriors ideally needs a bonus point win to give themselves a chance again out of this group. good for Arctic Warriors now. Actually, that might act actually that could guarantee it because a piss to see the cordial will be going rock of course. Oh no! Yeah, that's it. Arctic Warriors is done. Like a win is not gonna be enough. Three points sadly is not gonna be enough for Arctic Warriors. So that means that Dino Hug and Arctic Warriors are gonna be eliminated from the tournament. But can which one of these two can finish their campaigns on a high? Well, so far, it looks like it's going to be Dino Hug. But again, especially if you're Dino Hug, you know? You could have got out of the group. Just had to be a naughty toddler. Could have got out of the group. Could have done well. Oh, is it another ocean panic? Yeah, I think... <laughs> Dino Hug looking supreme at the minute. The Orchestra Sea Cordia showing its might. Zoom, zoom. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> that will also guarantee the thing another hit as well. Which will be... Ooh, it'll be going for a crit. Megaraptor will be going for... He can't go rock. 
Are uh, you going for a crit as well? Dino hug. Finishing in ill. Finish, finishing in style. Aqua javelin coming in here as well. Boosh. Arctic warriors. Well, pretty much eliminated at this point. Oh, oh my god, never ocean panic. <laughs> Yeah, that's the nail in the coffin for Arctic Warriors. Needed the, well, they needed a bonus point win and didn't get it. But as for Dino Hug, finishing their tournament on style with a bonus point win of their own. But unfortunately, it's not going to be enough for them to get out of the group. Well, yeah, there it is. There's the confirmation. Arctic Warriors bowing out of the tournament at the group stage. Last last time, I think they finished near top. But this time, they just, just could not get going at all. You know, again, I think the Dino Nerd match, probably the biggest cost, the costliest one there. You know, the, they had such an advantage and they just couldn't see it home. And again, and again, again, against Jonas Chu, could have, should have closed that match out and didn't. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a pretty tough campaign for Arctic Warriors, to be brutally honest. But, you know, they were in every match. They weren't, other than... I'd probably say, other than the Diddy Darius one, and, well, that one against Dino Hug, they were in every match. But, you know, it just didn't happen for them. As for Dino Hug, well, yeah, they've, they're on six points. It's not going to be enough. I I, don't, I can have a look at the other guys already. Cerno's on seven. Pilk is on 11. Thunderstorm's on eight. Shy Ghost is on ten. Alpha Trooper's on eight. Yeah, Dino Hug is probably going to get knocked out. Well, six. Actually, yeah, it is confirmed now because Fool's Cap is on 8 and MEJP10 is on 7. So, yeah, Dino Hug, despite being in 4th position at the minute, is not going to get out of the group. So, they are also eliminated, but finishing their tournament on a high. And you've got to say, look at that. Minus, take away the points deduction. That's 10 points, so they'd be second if it weren't for that points deduction. But because they were a naughty toddler, they, they get knocked out. But... I will give them props, because they did do well. You know, and they did give themselves a real fighting chance of getting out of the group. But, you know, it just, just, uh, just fell short. Just really did fall short. But, you know, enough about that matchup. Now, on to probably the biggest matchup of this round, which is Jonas Chu against Dino Nerd. Right, Theo, then, in the red corner for Dino Nerd is Giganonosaurus. Dino Nerd 90% through. All he needs, is, at the very least, is a losing bonus point and he'll be job done. And I should also point out that Ratchet is all, almost safely through as well, but again, there is one stipulation where Ratchet will drop into fourth, and that is if Jonas Chu wins and Dino Nerd gets a losing bonus point. Because then that will put Jonas Chu second, and then Dino Nerd will be above Ratchet by virtue of the fact that... Wait, no. Ratchet beat Dino Nerd, didn't he? I can't, I can't remember. Okay, but basically Rapture is all already through. I should point. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> but yes, a win will do it for Jonas Chu. Anything else, and it's elimination. And oh, well, that's the best possible start there for Jonas. And cred off the bat. Oh, look at that! Even without the Quake Saber, done a crap ton of damage. Stegosaurus, a beast. But oh, speaking of Quake Saber, is about to get triggered. Are we about to see it? Oh, we are! What a start from Jonas! This is exactly what Jonas Chu wants. A quick, quick fire start to get an early momentum. And things looking good for Jonas Chu here. This makes you realise how crucial those wins Jonas Chu have got so far have been. Really crucial. Right, as for Dino Nerd's second Dino, it is Uluwa Titan. As I said, all Dino Nerd needs is at least a losing bonus point to safely progress to the last 32. And yes, Ratchet did beat Dino Nerd, I remember now. <laughs> so yeah, as, as I say, Ratchet could be eliminated if Jonas Chu wins and... Well, Ratchet will drop into fourth if Jonas Chu wins and Dino Nerd gets the losing bonus point. Ooh, what we got here? It's Green Impulse. Dino Nerd striking back here. Boosh! Flap! Well, that win against Diddy Darius has basically kept him in the tournament. Kept his tournament hopes alive. Can he get the job done here? So yeah, that's 
pretty much the only scenario which would drop Rapture into fourth is, as I said, if Jonas Chu won and Dino Nerd got a losing bonus point. Any other result will safely put... Wow, that was so much damage, even with a tight disadvantage. Stegosaurus is a monster in this game, it really is. And well, it's doing the job for Jonas Chu so far. Ooh, how long though? Power drain coming in. Button spamming's approaching. Drinking Stegosaurus's energy like a s out of a s well, like drinking cocoa out of a straw. Ooh, but the Steg strikes back. Mole attack coming in here. This won't be lethal because, well, it won't be, alright? Oh, it almost was, though, I tell you what. Jonas Chu looking really good so far. And has a 2 0 lead. Well, Jonas Chu has definitely saved his best work for last here, getting a 2 0 lead over Dino Nerd. However, Dino Nerd is our comeback specialist in this tournament, and this Super Therizinosaurus is capable. I believe the Awaken mode is on 3, and Dino Nerd's gonna need it. Remember, all he needs to do is secure a losing bonus point, and he'll, and he'll be safely food to the last 32. Defeat though, and he will drop into 4th place, so... And on 8 points, you know, it, he probably will just survive, but... Leaving it thin. Well, there goes the Steg. But it definitely did its work. Taking out two of Dino Nerd's dinos. Right there. Now for Jonas Chu's second dino. It's the Mapusaurus. Mapusaurus. I, I like Mapusaurus. I really like his design. Looks really nice. I think for Evolution 2, though, I might use the um, Carcharodontosaurus model instead of the Giga. Because his skull does look a lot flatter and it... It kind of suits Cockerodontosaurus model better than Giga. Oop, it's a tie. Ties, ties will do Jonas just nicely, though. They do need to win, however, so... Jonas Chu's still got a bit of work to do yet. But that crit is going to take it... Take it on the brink. Very destructive, dude. Alright, that's a paper. Oh, is that... Oh, hang on, this might be lethal. Oh, no, maybe not. Oh, hang on, it is going to be lethal. Oh, I got a flare sword. What, what are the chances? Well, um, no comeback for Dino Nerd. And a bonus point win for Jonas Chu. And that storm, it surges him up the table into second. Well, a spinal tech that wasn't even needed. What a win for Jonas. Crucial win, and that will take him safely through to the last 32, and it will also put Ratchet through as well. So yes, we shall have a look at the final table for Group F. Diddy Darius safely through there as the group winners, and thoroughly deserved to be honest. With 14 points, 4 wins, 2 bonus points. Jonas Chu getting second place there, with 10 points, 3 wins and a bonus point, and then just sneaking into the third place by virtue of the fact that they won their match against Dino Nerd is Ratchet who is also safely through to the last 32 with 8 points and then Dino Nerd in 4th place on 8 points as well so 8 points might be enough but we'll just have to see and I will also point out that that's going to eliminate Cerno's strongest fear actually no not yet not yet Okay, yeah, Cerno is basically on the brink of elimination. I should also point that on seven points, so I doubt they're going to go through. Eight points? Well, Alpha Trooper's on eight points. The Thunderstorm is on eight points. And then, obviously, Random Shy Ghost is on ten, and Pilk is on eleven, and those two are definitely through. It'd be very, very tricky, and oh, I have a feeling there could be a tie somewhere. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun, isn't it? Well, I'll have to figure something out, won't I? Won't I? Maybe we'll have to do, like, a playoff or something between the teams at a level but yeah let's have a look who these guys will face in the last 32 so diddy darius won group f so oh they'll be they'll be playing a fourth place team so that's a good match up there for diddy darius so so far it could they could be playing either pilk or random shy ghost who are 
100% through. Yeah, that will actually be that will actually be the first match of the of the last 32. It will be Diddy Darius going up against one of the fourth place guys. As for Jonas Chu, who finished second, ooh, it's gonna be tough. They will have to take on Ultima Dino Queen. Oh, us. <laughs> Well, good good job getting out of the group, Jonas, but um, yeah, last 32 will probably be as far as you go because you're facing Ultima Dino Queen, who so far, who has a 100% record in this tournament so far. Gonna be tough, that for Jonas. As for Ratchet, they will be playing... Ooh, they will be taking on Ghidorah. So it'll be Ratchet going up against Ghidorah in the last 32. Ooh, hype, hype, we're getting the matchup. We're getting the matchup. So yes, you three already will actually know your opponent. So tell for me, pop a comment down below. Are you happy to get to be pitted against the people you're pitted against? Or are you not? Or are you bricking yourself? Are you thinking, oh god, why did I finish top? Why did I finish second? Why did I finish third? But yeah. Looking at those matchups, the fact that Diddy Diddy Darius has definitely got the easier matchup. So finishing first, it just shows that finishing first in your group is just vital to avoid a real heavyweight. Because these two have got to face Queen and Ghidorah respectively, so they're going to be really tough match. So yeah, that is it. That is it for Group F. A fascinating group. As for Dino Nerd, well, he's just going to have to wait and see if 8 points will be enough to get him out of the group. And yes, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. You know the drill. Like, bell, subscribe, comment, whatever. And until we conclude Group HG, this is Stranger Gamer signing out. <laughs>